we are back at Spooky Nook Champion Mill over in Hamilton, Ohio. I did a video on this place checking out the conference center and hotel area. If you want to see that video, I'll put a link in the description box below. Now that more of the place is developed, we're able to go over and check out some of the sports stuff that they have. So if you're unfamiliar with what Spooky Nook is, it's kind of like a conference center, hotel, sports venue, like a mixed-use recreational center. And no, this isn't the only Spooky Nook. So let's take a tour of the sports area of Spooky Nook. So you've got like, this is all basketball courts and different things. I guess they're doing volleyball too, but... And then you have the other side, which is just more of the same. But they are not using the basketball stuff at the moment. So anyone that knows me knows that I'm not a huge fan of sports. I don't mind playing some sports, like maybe some basketball or some of the racket sports or motor sports, but not really a huge fan of sports in general. Ooh, going into the this door. However, if you're into sports and especially playing them, this was a really cool place, and I can't wait to see what it looks like when it's all completed. Yeah, this is more like basketball stuff. This one, they're actually doing basketball, which is kind of cool. It's very fancy. It's an amazing facility if you're into sports. Okay, yeah, see, I saw pictures of, like, an arcade, and I heard they were going to have an arcade, and I was looking for where it is, and here we go. There's the sign that shows where it is. Apparently, it's through these doors, which kind of looks like a creepy, dark hallway. When we peek through the, ooh, it's like a creepy, dark hallway. All right, everyone, there's a, there's a QR code down here, so if you want to scan it, there you go. There's the QR code. Okay. There was an so there's like a look into the gym and there's a walk run track and all kinds of things. Yeah, there's another look inside at the gym with the walk, walk run track. This hallway, if you were actually in it, the camera makes it seem a lot brighter than it really is. It's kind of creepy. But I mean, you get to look in at all the, wow, that's a very fancy, they had all kinds of um, exercise machines like upstairs in the gym. Like, wow, hang on, I'll zoom in. Yeah, there's, there's all those people up there exercising. Oh, wow, look at the big uh, mural, the uh, nearby Miami University. They got a mural in here. Okay, well, I'm lost because the sign said to go this way, and then I haven't seen anything sent. Oh, look, at there's another mural painted on the wall. Got QR codes all over the place. Oh, wow, according to this sign, they have 27 courts in this place. That's a lot. That's a lot of basketball. Oh, wow, this looks like a really cool arcade. Look at that. Got all these brand new fancy games and there's a uh, you can load up your card and then you know play buy and reload play cards here oh wow some of these games look amazing and they're all brand new and shiny so we'll take you on a tour of what they have to offer here in the arcade and I'll just kind of let you take in the sights and sounds Ooh, look at pinball. Ooh, Stranger Things and Mandalorian pinball. These are some that I've never seen before. Not really into Iron Man, but I do love some Stranger Things. A what? Yeah, it's like any other arcade that they're you go like to. That? Yeah, they're all like that. You buy cards and you load money onto them. Well, I didn't know that you just tap 
but these are some really nice oh man they even have a few old school games look at this frogger that is ancient oh man doesn't look like it's in that great of a condition but man that is ancient sure it's good. that's from like the 80s yes yeah, so is so is this it's like a racing game i've never Atari. yeah i've never heard of this I always like this fishbowl game. It's really cool. That's bowling. Yeah, it's bowling. You get balls out of the bowling. Why you wanted to do some? That'd be fun. Oh man, it's Space Invaders. Look at how huge it is. Wait, a Nerf? I've never seen that. There's a Nerf. Oh, that's cool, too. And you got the world's largest Pac-Man. Not really into any of the claw machines, but if you are into those, here, here you go. These are all the claw machines. Lucky numbers. Whoa, that is one humongous taco. I don't even know what to think of that. That's, that's no. Yeah, they got these cut to win games and I guess I understand how they work, but like, wait, this one's not even tied up. So how do you win that one? I don't know. Oh, they got air hockey, that's cool. There's air hockey. Oh, yeah, look at some of these. This looks like a cool one. It's like Jurassic World, but you get these like little Jeeps that you push. So, you know, because this is a sports complex, of course, they've got basketball games in here. And then you've got, I've never seen a Need for Speed arcade game. I've seen it on, you know, PlayStation and, and PC computer. That's really neat. And then, oh man, ice ball, which, you know, I prefer to call it ski ball, but you know, whatever. Same, same kind of thing. That is such a classic. Definitely gonna play some of that. And then you've got Pirates of Bikini Bottom. Oh man. And then you've got that Jurassic thing that's in the malls. Yeah. So that's pretty cool. Look at that. This looks really cool. I kinda wanna do that. What is, this is like, is this like a Rubik's Cube thing? I don't, I don't quite understand. Woo, that looks fun. <laughs> All right, I got, got my play card. We're gonna try this game out. And then, Trying to get all the reflection off. Nope. You gotta push the, it's like a coin pusher game. And I'm doing terrible at it. Oh yeah, oh whoa, look at that. Oh, there they go. Oh, this is fun. Oh, I got one of the big balls. 80 tickets. Oh, cool. Oh boy, here goes SpongeBob. Beep, 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 shoot. No. Suck at this. I suck at this. Oh, I got one. All right, so I got this chip, and then I gotta put it in the little slot. And it gives me tickets. All right, screw it, we're doing ski ball, cause Ice ball? No, no, no. Ski ball. I don't really care what it's called. We're doing boing. 
boing. And then we're doing press your button. Come on, get it in the thousand. Wow, crappers. I'm sucking at this. You win. My initial thoughts of this place, even though I don't do sports, are very positive. However, it does feel very incomplete just walking through this place. It's kind of like half done and I know they're still under construction and they probably will be for quite some time but it's just sort of like maybe it's just the industrial feeling of the place I don't really know the arcade was nice and cool of course not as good as something like scene 75 or round one you know any of those arcades that are typically in your mall those are a lot better but still for one that doesn't have anyone running it awesome now, I did really like getting to come upstairs and getting, like, a bird's eye overview of everyone playing sports. That's pretty cool. I'd like to see maybe some tables and chairs up here where you could, like, get some food and sit over here and watch everyone play. That would be awesome. Now we're going to take a look at some rooms, and I'm not quite sure what they're supposed to be used for. Maybe they're like party rooms or meeting rooms. I really don't know because they're so unfinished. There's like nothing in them, but it did give us a cool view into some of the abandoned buildings that are still here on the property that are yet to be torn down. I mean, it's open. Oh wow, look at you can see the uh, historic building next door that's abandoned. I think they're going to take it and renovate it though. Whoa. That's cool. Look at that old building. It's probably the offices for the mill. Probably, yeah. Hallway, hallway, another hallway, another hallway. That's what I feel like when walking through this place. Just like hallway maze. I don't know, there's like all this exposed ductwork and stuff. Like, I know they're not finished with the place, but like, how are you going to cover that up? I don't know, it's weird. But this is, yeah, this is the lobby for the sports basketball courts and all that kind of stuff. So you can get an overview and then you can get an overview of like the cafe food court area. I really enjoyed touring around this brand new state-of-the-art sports facility, even though I don't care for sports. And I'm so excited that it's in the community of Hamilton, Ohio, and I'm thrilled with all the changes that are coming to the city of Hamilton, Ohio as well. And maybe I'll have to do a video on Hamilton itself, just showing all the positive things about the place. Anyways, that's going to do it for today's episode. Thank you, everyone, and I'll see you on the next episode.